Y'all gonna piss me off if you keep on watching my videos without giving me a smile. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Scorpio. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading, Scorpio. But I also just recently did your spirit guide uh, tarot reading as well as your ancestor tarot reading, Scorpio, which I'll leave links to both of those up into the link uh, part over here for you to check out at a later point, Scorpio. Uh, but when it comes to any of my uh, reading, Scorpio, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, it's a man reading some tarot cards to you, Scorpio. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonate, Scorpio, and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be affected by it or offended, rather, by it whatsoever, Scorpio. But if you do find some tarot cards that resonate with you, Scorpio, I'd really be appreciative if you were to take the extra step to support my tarot channel by, first of all, letting me know in the comments below which ones do and how they do because that's how we keep up with y'all through the comments. But also by giving this video a like and subscribe as well, Scorpio, because it does help out my tarot channel a lot. And I always appreciate it when you guys take that extra step just to support me in that way, Scorpio. So. And then finally, Scorpio, I just want to say before we get into your reading, uh, I don't believe the, this reading, I don't believe any reading should be making a decision in your life, Scorpio, because I'm just, a, you know, as I said, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards, but it's like, it's your life to live, not mine, not these tarot cards, nobody's. So don't, at least in my readings, don't use these cards as anything besides something giving you some food for thought, perspective for you to consider as you go throughout your week, Scorpio. So with all that being said, I got your base general spread started out, and you guys actually got uh, several moon oracle cards, Scorpio, which is different from all the other, are all, <laughs> get the words out, Velka, all the other zodiac signs, Scorpio, so I already like that. So while I finish... Scorpio, you can't see it, but I have all these tarot cards just flying everywhere. Apparently, the, this tarot reading has a lot of mess. These tarot cards have so a message to tell you this week, Scorpio. I'll even put it as the title this week, just from how the cards are interacting with y'all. It's just like, these tarot cards have a message, important message for you, honey. So uh, let's just start with your moon oracle cards, Scorpio, since um, I always like to start with the oracle cards first. We have... Uh, if I can pick them up now, which by the way, Scorpio, I got my nails done recently, what you think? But uh, yeah, we have the first one coming in as the new moon in your, your new moon actually, Scorpio, the new moon in Scorpio. This is a card of working through your fears. Uh, I'll get into the messages after I pull up all the three of the moon cards. We have the full moon in Gemini for you, Scorpio, which is the, the answers you need are coming as well as what do you need to release the waning moon now scorpio when you think about this this in of itself is a reading i feel like because it's almost like spirit's just like it's kind of like a complete sentence it's just like hey the answers you need are coming scorpio work through your fears honey because like you know think about how the best way to work through your fears is figure out what it is that you need to release right i feel like that's probably going to be the theme of this week for you, Scorpio, is kind of like looking at what is triggering that anxiety in you, looking at whatever it is triggering that fear in you, Scorpio, and figure out from, from like, where is that stemming from? What is it that you personally do need to release in that situation, right? So depending on what, however it's resonating with you, usually when it comes to fear, it's just the need to get more information. So if you are having fear about needing some information, like, Fear about the unknown in that way well just get some more information if you're having anxiety about a situation scorpio well if it's happened yet or if there's something that you can't do to control it just release it scorpio because you know put it in perspective this you know if you you what does you what do you gain from you just being anxious about the situation, you constantly being aware of it. Now keep in mind, Scorpio, I know it's a lot harder, it's a lot easier said than done, Scorpio, to address like your fears and anxieties. I used to be an extremely, extremely anxious person, Scorpio, so I do understand. But um, yeah, we'll continue on. We have the Three of Air, which is the Three of Swords in normal tarot. Now I'll read it off, Scorpio. This is this card says, "Great sadness. Take this time to heal and forgive yourself or other people." So truly, there's just this constant uh, push for you, Scorpio, to just release this week. Probably going to be a heavy shadow week work for most of you guys, Scorpio. I am going to be honest. I feel like a weatherman where it's just like, uh, oh, judging by these this uh direct energetic direction here. 
And judging by like the direction of the wind, honey, y'all are going to be doing some shadow work, Scorpio. So definitely this is going to be a week where I am going to say to like, buckle up. Um, this is definitely going to be a week of lessons, I feel like, for you. Now, with this Three of Swords, it's like, or the Three of, three of Air, it's just like, well, what is this great sound is stemming from? Is it from some type of fight, right? And then we have the Queen of Water or the Queen of Cups coming in for you, where it's talking about relationships developing to a new level, trust yourself, and caring for yourself or other people. So, Scorpio, is this the situation of where there's like a fear in regards to some type of relationship in your life? Is, some, is there some type of pain that's been happening uh, in regards to some type of social situation in your life and that that you need to, uh, you know, release some type of uh, resentment from, right? And this is not me saying Scorpio to necessarily uh, forgive the person, right? I'm not get implying that at all. But uh, maybe there's something in here that we should be looking at. Like, usually, you know, with tarot cards, it'll tell you to like, oh, put distance between this person that's just not serving you and go fill up that space, empty space with someone of a higher vibration, right? Or they'll tell you to look deep within and be like, oh, there's a lesson in here, Scorpio, that you need to figure out, right? Now, I'm not getting that sense of, I am going to be honest, Scorpio, I'm not getting the sense of um, releasing anybody necessarily. So that is kind of giving me the sign of, this is more so like the people in your life right now are trying to teach you something. Not them consciously, probably it's not their place, but um, you know, spirits working through the people in your life to teach you something, right? If it's just teaching more trust or if it's teaching learn how to uh, even perhaps not have such a cynical view of people, right? Whatever your situation is, right? Obviously I can only speak on such blanket levels. I don't know the nuances of like the actual situation there for you, Scorpio. But with this, this is such a way of where it's spirits like instead of like distancing yourself from this person, right? We're not getting a hermit card, um, a knight of swords or anything like that. We're getting just cards where it's just like the need to like self-reflect, the need to practice more openness, the need to just release any like pent up emotions any pent up energy towards this situation right not releasing the person it seems but again you know your situation I mean, like obviously if this person's harming you scorpio then let them go like you shouldn't even be going to a tarot reading right <laughs> to have someone if someone's hurting you right but if it's just like a misunderstanding scorpio um definitely you know, work it out with this person there's the, the spirits kind of implying that um th there's something in here worth working out in regards to this person even at the end of the, even if by the end of that road scorpio you end up releasing that person anyways the very least you are able to make the most out of that experience and really um allow it to further develop you right all about that character development honey so then we have these two uh tarot cards this is the seven of wands this is the i mean i'll even show you the the two words that are pr imprinted in here persistence and conviction right so this is where uh scorpio i've told this to a couple of different zodiac signs and may have told you even before scorpio um where there's a quote in mind from lisa nichols where scorpio that says something along the lines of your convenience and your, your conviction and your convenience do not lie in the same block now, what does that mean? It's essentially saying that you're going to have to probably make yourself a little bit uncomfortable. You're going to have to inconvenience, inconvenience yourself a little bit in order to um, honor what, like, to go after what it is. I'm seeing, like, the star card, so it's just, like, in order to bring forth closer whatever it is that you're trying to grab at, Scorpio. So this is just, like, this be persistent at this time. Now, again, I am going to hone in on the messages with the persistence card. In regards to that three of air and that queen of water, right? You know, maybe be more persistent in terms of working it out with certain people in your life, Scorpio. Um, but again, only if it makes sense to you, right? Just make sure to take the emotion out of it. Be, have like a, when it comes to that person, even Scorpio, have a logical approach to it and being like, well, what does this person provide to me? You know, out, outside of the emotions and the hard feelings, what does this person do? What does this person try to, try to do, right? Um, or just even at the very least have try to have like one final last conversation to address like the 
issues that you're having, right, with this Ten of Wands, make them take responsibility for things, hold them accountable, Scorpio. I think that is extremely important. But also, Scorpio, hold yourself accountable. Now, um, don't shoot the messenger here. I'm not trying to piss you off, Scorpio. I always have, you know, Scorpio, you already know I have love for you. I'm a Libra Scorpio cusp, so I always like to be speaking a little bit more severe uh, with my Scorpios just because I know you can handle it and I know that you guys are more so grateful for like the harsh me harsh messages so because like you know like my goal is to help you get to the place like your best place right and me sugarcoating things is doing nothing but a disservice to you right so let's hold ourselves accountable let's hold other people accountable really this is the situation where it's just like do your part right and try in terms of making some type of situation work but if by you continuing doing your part if you're not being matched in that energy at all, then that's when you wash your hands clean. But make sure that you give them a chance to put their part in as well, right? You know, don't just like have this, all these feelings like pent up and just expect them to know that there's something wrong or expect them to um, do their part if they're not aware that there's a part that they need to do, right? But it's still important to at least voice whatever it is. You know, let's really address this 10 of wands this week. This is definitely going to be a week of Scorpio learning what to, or more so releasing these 10 wands, right? This uh, waning moon asks, what is it that you need to release? It's these 10 individual wands, which are probably 10 separate issues or several issues that you probably all come together into one conglomerate issue. But, um, you know, I feel like it's just kind of like taking care of loose end, Scorpio. Now we have the King of uh, King of Wands, uh, we have the Five of Discs, and we have the Knave of Cups, which is the Page of Cups. Now, Scorpio, this is definitely, you know, I'll break this down. This is talking about the deepening of a relationship, uh, Scorpio. This is talking about um, kind of feeling out uh, outcasted, you know? you know, you look in the, in, in the imagery, Scorpio, it's like someone's throwing stones at you. Like, there's almost like you feel like you, it's like you against the world even, probably, Scorpio. And that's the funny thing, well, it's not funny because you're the one going through it, right, Scorpio? But the interesting thing, I guess, is with this King of Wands, where it's just like on your end, Scorpio, you're just trying to like go after like your dream, right? You're trying to like you're focused on like your passion, right? And I know Scorpio, you guys have recently been the ones that I've been having to be really hard on not using your work as your coping mechanism. Um, you know, and I feel like you kind of gotten better at it. Um, and if you haven't, then I mean, this week is just going to force you to like address it, you know, force you to like release the things that you've been using your work to distract you from addressing, right? Um, but with this King of Wands, it still shows to me, Scorpio, that you're on the right path, that you are still maintaining going forward. So even though we're dealing with all this heaviness, um, you're still on the path towards um, your star. I know I, you, I'm not pulling the star for you yet, but I still being sh keep being shown the star of Scorpio in my brain. So it's just like, you know, it's just like that ultimate like wish fulfillment thing. I really do feel like you guys are just really trying to blaze a path, um, really towards some type of uh, um, like ambitious pro am ambitious project, the Scorpio. So really interesting cards. Now this week I'm going to be actually doing a different type of setup, Scorpio. Um, so, and you guys are actually going to be my first one. So definitely let me know how you like this new spread I'm about to be doing, Scorpio. I'm going to be doing our first row for you, Scorpio, and just seeing, figuring out like what is going to be your biggest struggle. What is going to be like the, uh, um, what is the thing that you need to be working on this week, Scorpio? So we're just going to get some insight all throughout um, these tarot cards. Just I'm going to be connecting more so um, with sp uh, people's spirit guides, you know, just the collective energy and just seeing the advice on what it is that you should self-reflect on this week. And then Scorpio will be looking at what blessings to come. And then we'll just close out the reading with any final thoughts after that as well. But I also wanted to still keep up with my social connections uh, spread as well for my Scorpios interested in their social connections. We'll just cover all the bases, honey. You know how I do, Scorpio. You know I don't like to leave you guys empty-handed. So, Scorpio... We, I pulled the cards for your challenges this week. We have the challenge, the main challenge for you this week. We have the Empress card, Ace of Swords, Ten of Discs, and the Ace of Cups. Now, this makes a lot of sense, Scorpio, and I'm going to tell you why. Because with the Empress card, this confirms to me that 
definitely you know this is like the like if in terms of all the cards scorpio this is like the card of character development building character honey is the empress right the empress is in tune with the universe and really a student of the universe because it's you're a student of the universe scorpio because you're in this process of trying to give birth to whatever that dream is for you scorpio and again i'm going to reference that star now with this ace of swords here i do want to pull a card actually i pulled two cards for you ending up we have the five of pentacles as well as the temperance card paired up with here now scorpio this is giving me a sense of where it's just like almost like a fear of you know this is the, this ace of swords here i feel like this is speaking on like your ambitions or your ideas that like you would like to pan out but i feel like you're there's some type of anxiety connected to that right because i say you have some type of anxiety or stress because of the five of pentacles coming in again for you with this temperance card scorpio this is almost where it's just like you're feeling anxious and being like oh why am i why is this not paying out yet you know it's just like what's going on right why is this thing not coming into fruition yet and the temperance card comes in where it's just like hey Take a deep breath, honey. Balance your emotions. Have patience at this time. I'll let things work out, right? Because it does seem to be like you guys are, this is what it is you're actively trying to work for towards Scorpio, is that Ace of Cups, as well as that Ten of Discs. Now, that's this is like um, having your cake and eating it too. This is that card of where it's just like having that extremely stable home life, having your um, finances taken care of, um, good social circle, you know, like this trustworthy, stable social circle, you know, feeling fulfilled. This is just literally the embodiment of just feeling good, like a place, being at a place where you're not really struggling. Um, I'm not really getting in terms of like relationship in this. It feels more so just like you're just general life stability, Scorpio, and just this general sense of like waking up and just feeling purpose again and i really i feel like with this scorpio this is going to be like your ultimate challenge here is where it's just like this is a week where you're gonna have to be learn how to become best friends with your anxiety and your fears right and then you kind of i know you're gonna hear me you're like what the heck velka what <laughs> what are you talking about um i do feel like this is just a time where it's just like you wake up you're having that panic attack honey start breaking it down and be like okay why am i having a panic you know back to that same thing right i feel like i don't need to be repetitive in that sense you get the point so um definitely just be a student to your emotions right if you start feeling something just instead be like ah you know you're just more so just being like ah my mind my emotions are trying to teach me something new right now with this right um so again easier said than done i'm not gonna pretend sit here and pretend scorpio like this is gonna this is a light week for you um but definitely still forward you're on the path of forward motion so very interesting now scorpio we're going to be doing your cards on like what blessings are to come for you what blessings can we expect for scorpio um to finally you know because i feel like scorpio needs like a breath of just like not even a breath honey i feel like you guys haven't been able to take a breath because you just feel so weighed down um let's see what blessings we can have for scorpio coming up here now starting out i did pull the justice card and the fool card for you scorpio and the ten of wands again now this is such a clear-cut message scorpio in that um it almost seems like this sense of being like letting go and letting god right where it's just like once you kind of address like the limitations in yourself scorpio with this eight of swords where like what that has you stuck holding on to some of these uh wands here probably that are weighing you down maybe some of these are like your own attachments right so maybe let's just say for example like you've been having like an insecurity in terms of like um like your weight, for example, right? And you're just like, you don't want to go take professional photos, right? You don't want to go and engage your modeling career until you lose those last 10 pounds, right? You finally come to this point where you're just like, you know what, right? You bring it into balance where it's just like, you know what, I don't care, right? You're just like, you you don't you don't care about that. Like ha those 10 pounds are not worth sacrificing a modeling career for you. And you kind of just like, you know, at this point, you're just like, you know what, screw it you're done with it you're bringing it into balance and, and you're by adopting this full energy of and it seems to be like a mental thing scorpio where it's just like the mental blockages right and i'm not saying that you're only dealing with my mental blockages in your life but 
Um, it seems to be like mental blockages are what's keeping you from continuing pushing forward into new near, new territory. I do get the sense, Scorpio, where it's like you you should be, not should be, but there is like this need to challenge uh, yourself a little bit more. Um, so definitely a week, very interesting week. This is definitely going to be an introspective week. So what I would say, Scorpio, be kind to yourself this week. Um, if you don't get as much work done as you normally do, or if you just don't, if you're not as responsive to people, be, be kind to yourself. Don't be critical of, your, of yourself and be like, oh, I'm such a bad friend and what have you. It's like, you're not. This is just really a time for mental health for you, Scorpio. And then we're going to be doing some social cards for you right now to wrap up this reading for you. We have the Queen of Swords, the Hierophant, and the Hanged Man. Very interesting, Scorpio. So with this dynamic, this is almost like getting in touch with your higher self, Scorpio. And with this Queen of Swords, it's like setting some boundaries, right? So there's a need, there's definitely Scorpio for some of you, the need to set some hardcore boundaries that you've known that you've been needing to set for a while with this Hierophant here. Um, you kind of know it's for your best interest. And the only issue is you haven't been really wanting to like pull the trigger, right? And that's what this hanged man is about. You haven't wanted to like be officially the one to have that. It's like you don't want to have that tough conversation and be like, hey, like, start treating me with start treating me with respect honey right and i feel like you kind of need to do that with someone in your life scorpio so um yeah definitely a heavy week scorpio um i do feel excited for you because you, it seems to be like you're at this final stretch now when spirit has you having to like self-reflect on things rather than telling you to like release people because i really don't feel like you need to release people um it's more so just about like the inner work now. It's about the inner work. And that's, in my opinion, the final step towards like the next phase of your life. So it does make sense why Spirit would put such an emphasis on honing in on these messages. And it definitely makes sense as to why you got all three of these Moon Oracle cards. Because if you only had one, uh, one of these Oracle cards, Scorpio, I feel like I wouldn't have done the message nearly as much justice. So um, yeah, that's the cards that I have for you, Scorpio. If you enjoyed this tarot reading, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Be sure to comment in the uh, comments below. And then be sure to share my videos with a friend that you think might be into my tarot reading, Scorpio. Until next time, I love you so much. Bye.